Hey there everyone, welcome back to Measure and Mix. Thank you guys so much for stopping by today. If you're new here, welcome to my channel and if you like DIYs, make sure to stick around by hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell next to it so you don't miss out on anything new. Today I'm going to be making some Dollar Tree nautical or coastal decor and unfortunately I don't live near a body of water so I don't typically decorate my home like this but I do love this type of decor. It always reminds me of summer and vacation and I had a few ideas so I wanted to go ahead and share them with you guys in case that's how you guys decorated your homes. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna make is a lighthouse and I'm gonna use one of these planter trolleys. This is optional, I just liked mine being able to be mobile. And then I'm gonna use one of these fluted green planters from Dollar Tree and then one of these more straight planters with uh, the bottom that comes off and then also one of these candle holders from Dollar Tree. Now I'm going to assemble everything with some hot glue. I would recommend using E6000 for a stronger hold. All I'm going to do is place some hot glue in the bottom of the trolley and then place the green planter upside down in that trolley. And then I added some hot glue around the green planter at the top and then place the brown planter upside down on top of the green planter. And next all I'm doing is taking four Jenga blocks and I just spaced them out and hot glued them upright along the top of the brown planter and now I'm taking some nautical rope and cutting four equal uh, pieces of that nautical rope and then I'm just going to hot glue each piece in between each section of Jenga blocks and it will kind of act as the railing for the lighthouse. So I only used hot glue for this whole project because I was out of E6000. Um, I think hot glue is fine for the nautical rope parts of these projects, but I would definitely recommend using E6000 if you were gonna use this outdoors um, because it would hold up a lot better in the weather. Somehow I lost the footage of me putting on the nautical rope that you see there. There's uh, three rows of nautical ropes right below the Jenga blocks. I just cut a piece and hot glued that around. Um, and then all I'm doing is taking my white linen chalk paint and painting everything with, I think I did two coats and maybe a third touch up coat to all of this. Um, and then you can also see that I did paint the nautical rope as well. That's a personal preference. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. Um, and I used a little um, smaller brush to kind of go around and work and do the details um, of the top there because it was kind of hard to do that with the bigger brush. Now what I'm doing is I'm coming back with some gel stain in the walnut. This is what I always use to kind of distress things and make things look old or weathered. And I just brushed that on and then I came back with my little um, paintbrush with some white paint on it too and then I kind of went over all of that to kind of just mellow out the brown. And then after that was all done and everything was all dry, I came back with some black chalk paint um, and then I just outlined some windows onto the lighthouse and filled those in with the black chalk paint. After the windows were all finished, the only thing left to do was add the candle holder on top for the lighthouse effect and it just rests in between the Jenga blocks. It doesn't sit all the way down on top of the pot, but I love how this turned out. It looks so pretty with the candle on it and is perfect for that nautical or coastal decor. The next item I'm going to be making is a set of paddles and I'm going to be using two of these bamboo torches from Dollar Tree. I just cut the bamboo off the top there holding in the torches and took the torches out. And now I'm going to use two of these beach signs from Dollar Tree. They kind of look like the tags and I just took the strings off the top there. And now I'm just going to place the signs inside 
of the bamboo and there'll be four pieces on one side and then there'll be four pieces on the other side and then all I'm doing is just cutting off the excess bamboo they kind of just rip off easily um, or you could use scissors and now I'm just gonna take some hot glue and I am just going to hot glue in between the bamboo pieces and then also kind of um, on the sides there below the sign where it's holding it in. And I did this for both of the paddles that I'm making. Hot glue seemed to work perfectly fine for me with these paddles, but you could definitely use E6000 um, to give this a stronger hold or if you were going to use these for outdoor decor. Now all I'm doing is taking some white linen chalk paint and I'm giving each of these um, two coats on what would be the front of my paddles, which is the back of each of the signs. It's gonna be the front of my paddles. And then the front of the actual signs, which is the back of the paddles. I only put one coat of chalk paint because you won't see those. And then now I'm coming back with some painter's tape and I'm just taping off um, a line here. So that way I can paint a stripe onto the paddle boards. And I'm just using the Deco Art chalk paint in the color Retro Vintage. I'll link that down below if you guys want to check it out. I love this color. Um, and then after it was all dry, I just took the painter's tape off and then I came back with my walnut gel stain and I distressed the paddles. I just brushed it on the edges um, and then all over the paddles and then also all over the handles as well. The last thing I did to these paddles was take some nautical rope and I just hot glued it on to the top of the handle where the paddle meets the handle and I wrapped it around about six times and then I just hot glued it down and then I came down to the bottom of the handle and I did the same exact thing. I just hot glued it down and wrapped it around about six times as well and hot glued it to secure it back down and I did this to the other paddle as well and I just love how these turned out I think that they are perfect for that nautical coastal theme decor but I think that this would be really cute in a little kids bedroom or a nursery if you had that nautical theme going on I just love how these turned out all right guys I hope you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did let me know down in the comments below if you decorate with nautical or coastal decor in your homes or a vacation home or a lake house that you might decorate it with and that is it I will see you guys next time take care bye bye